So I'm going to show you my uh, DIY slightly makeshift fan mounted pure water system that I'm using to clean windows. Um, bit of a long story but I've been getting inquiries to do some more commercial work. You may know that I've been using um, the Unger hydropower systems, I've got the DI system and also the big RO system which I've been using for larger jobs. They've been working out really well, really like using those systems. There can be a snag sometimes when there's no water supply, the DI and the RO are reliant on having a water supply on site. So I get this inquiry from a customer who wants me to clean um, an apartment block, second and third story, quite high. Um, so I go and meet the customer. Uh, it turns out that there's no water supply that I'm able to use. But anyway, I, I go ahead with the quote. I sent the quote via email and the customer accepts the quote. Okay, really great. But how am I gonna do the job with no water supply? There's no problem because at the weekend coming up is the WCP cleaning show. So I figure I'll get what I need at the show, hence the setup I've got here. Okay, it's a bit makeshift. Now I already have all the poles, all the hoses, brushes. So all I really needed to get was a pump, uh, a controller, a battery, and a tank. I needed to be able to carry the water. Um, so this is what I come up with anyway. So I built up all this wooden uh, temporary housing for it here. Um, so I can very easily take everything in and out of the van for some of my other services when I'm doing uh, pressure washing or gutter clearing I need to clear out space in the van to get that equipment in. So my hose reel for example just sits in there really nicely and then when I pull it it's not going to move. So I've got my hose reel, 100 metres of hose there. I've got my pump here now I've got some, the great thing about the cleaning show is I was able to um, speak to professionals. I've got some really good advice from these people here at Vier, uh, who helped me with the pump. Really great monster pump, uh, really packs a punch. I've been really impressed with that. All the fittings were just push fittings, really nice and simple, so that was great. Uh, and then I've got, I've just drilled a hole through all my wirings in here, nice little wiring box. Had some help from DA Components with the controller, Darren at DA Components, and uh, came with this really nice wiring diagram, so it was really simple um, to put together the controller and pump to connect it all up. And I've got all my connections are all in this box here to keep them safe so they're not going to get wet or anything like that. And fuse and everything is all in there. I just got a standard battery from Halfords, a leisure battery. Uh, this is the biggest one they had. It's probably a bit overkill, um, but there you go, it's going to last. And then in order to charge it, I've actually got a charger that plugs into my mains. Um, so I just have to take the battery out every so often uh, and plug it into the mains to charge it. Now, water tank. I haven't been able to secure a water tank into the van as yet. So what I came up with is I'm using barrels. And why have I got them on the roof? I tried um, using the barrels from in here. And the pump won't actually draw the water out. See, by the time you put the hose in and you've got the hoses sitting at the bottom of the barrel there, the pump's got to draw the water up and out into the pump to then uh, pump it back out, which the pump is not designed to draw water in that way. It's kind of reliant on a certain amount of water pressure coming into the pump. So what I've devised is uh, if, I may, if I put the barrels on the roof like this, you see this barrel is basically full up, but if I put the spout to the top, um, put the hose in there, then that just creates a bit of a fall and a little bit of pressure just coming into the pump, and then the pump can pump it through and it's fine so it's been really good it's actually having um, used pure water more and more with the hydropower systems I'm now actually considering getting a larger van and a tank fitted so that I can do pure water window cleaning more readily in this way um, so I'm using the hydropower RO system just to fill up the barrels of water with pure water and it's so quick six six and a half litres a minute something like that so so I fill up four or five barrels quite quickly in 20 minutes half an hour um, actually using the water 
in this way with the barrels. It's quite helpful, I'm able to get an idea of how much water I'm getting through um, per house and per day and um, it's given me a much better idea on the size of tank I'd like to get. So it's, although it's a bit of a faff at the moment, it's a bit of messing about with the barrels and, uh, and what have you, it's, um, it's actually um, quite a good exercise in getting used to how much water I need and preserving water and, and that kind of thing. Whereas with the hydropower systems, just plugging into a water supply, you don't really think about how much water you're using and preserving the water uh, and being careful with your water usage um, because it's just there literally on tap, you know. So, so it's been a really good exercise just to, just to kind of train myself into uh, how much I'm using water. So, and I got my commercial job done. I got the apartments done, which I said I'd do. Uh, I was asked to quote it the week before. got what I, need, what I needed from the WCP cleaning show. Um, to make my little setup here and then on the Wednesday I said I'd do the job so I was there early morning to do the commercial job and it went it went well I've had a few inquiries doing commercial work of that nature and that's always been a bit of a sticking point so since then I've, I've actually done a few commercial jobs in a similar way so it's been a really good way of being able to to offer that service so there it is that's my emergency makeshift your water system. So perhaps find that I hope you found that helpful just to see how that works and um, check out my channel you can see loads more on different aspects of window cleaning and the other cleaning services we provide as well and uh, hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching.